I just want to share my opinions on what I think might be uh, helpful moving forward uh, with the app. Um, I appreciate the development team reaching out to the community and kind of asking about asking for opinions and, and suggestions. Um, really, there's two things with the mobile app that uh, I think could be improved, and that's the timeline view. Well, really, it's just the timeline view. <laughs> uh, there's, but there's two issues with the timeline view. Uh, in the timeline view in the mobile app, we're basically trying to squeeze the entire timeline into this, the space of this preview pane. And when I say squeeze the entire timeline, I, I essentially mean like like this in the uh, on the web view. Uh, and it also includes these, I, I call them gaps. Basically, this is just, uh, it shows the quantity of photos taken in, in each year. And that's great. I mean, at a glance, you can, you can see, oh, I took more pictures in 2019 than I did in 2014, for example. But from a usability standpoint, it's not all that beneficial. In fact, it makes things a little bit difficult when you're trying to navigate to a year that maybe didn't take as many photos, especially on the mobile view where you're using the slider with your finger. You just don't have the control uh, that's necessary to pinpoint a, a specific day. Really, in my case, I have a half million photos in my in this particular library, and you know I'll I'll drag down to a date, and <laughs> when I let go of my finger. From the screen, it'll jump several months, maybe even a year, uh, depending on what year I'm in. So that's one problem. It's just the just the control factor. The other is, I think you get to take you can get lost, right? Let's say you have you shoot a wedding over a number of days, or you have family events that uh, you have a lot of photos for. You can kind of get lose track of where you are in time because there's not a fixed um, data point where you can quickly reference what what where you are on the timeline. Um, I think that can be easily corrected. So I've, I've put together some suggestions. Uh, probably not for everybody, but it would definitely improve my, I would say workflow, but Use case, I guess, would be the better word or phrase. So what I'm proposing is that the this, this scale timeline kind of disappears altogether. Uh, the, the slider still remains, but the slider always snaps back to center. You're never going to slide the slider and it'll end up here permanently or at the bottom permanently because the timeline, in effect, is gone. Uh, this is simply used to more efficiently navigate to a moment in time. Uh, pretty much like it does now, we do have information about where we are while using the slider, but the slider is broken down into zones. So the first zone is going to scroll by days, right? So scrolling up this way, this would uh, ascend in time, and this way would descend in time. Basically, the further you pull this slider, the faster it's going to go until you cross a threshold. So I've, I've kind of just put like some little marks here. This could be designated using something else. This is just, just an idea. But <clears throat> once you get out of this first zone, then you jump into the next zone, which scrolls by month, right? So you can, if you're in a year, you've already, you're already in the year you want to be in, you can quickly navigate through the months and you can actually see them change over here in real time. Um, I did put a little indicator here. This could shift over when you've entered another zone. And then the top zone here would be years. So just like the uh, the day zone, I mean, once you get up here, from go from months to years, maybe, maybe you go through one year a second, right? And then when you scroll all the way to the top or the bottom, you maybe go through five years every second, right? So you can quickly navigate to where you want and really have some fine-tuned control over specific days that you, you select. Um, <clears throat> in addition to that, you know, I have this uh, content at center of view pane determines persistent date. Okay, so basically what I'm saying here is like whatever photos you're viewing here, 
let's see where we are in time with those, right? So maybe we just have the date at the top of the uh, window here. And as you scroll, no matter how you scroll, whether it's with the uh, with just your finger on the pane or using the slider, this will always be updated to whatever is showing in the middle of the uh, in the preview pane. Um, really, that's it. I, I think maybe we could, uh, this is getting nitpicky now, but maybe there's a, an option to give us some more screen real estate here by maybe we could ditch some of these labels or consolidate them somehow. I guess consolidate is not the right word, but I, I don't know if we need photo search sharing library. Maybe just the icons themselves would be good enough. Um, yeah, that's just uh, kind of my suggestion. I Again, I appreciate the developers reaching out to the community and, and seeking input. Maybe this will spark some ideas.